Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a name draw reading. So I got a bunch of different names in here and we're going to just do a specific type of a reading and see what's going on for any given person. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My, my channel might be a little different than what you're used to. It's a very intense channel. I look at criminal activity most of the time on my channel. And so I'm for uprightness and I'll roar for uprightness sake and spirit moves on me in a real intense way because I feel this, the energy flow. And so you'll just learn me as we go if you do stay. You will get scripture here on my channel because it is found in the living language the tarot and so I honor the uh, covenant with Jehovah Elohim he is the maker of heaven and earth people call him the universe I just call him by a scriptural name uh, he is Yeshua which is salvation I kiss his son that walked among us in the flesh and I'm not uh, ashamed of him he's mighty and he is uh, to be revered and feared and uh, I do fear him and so that's the beginning of our wisdom and it's our understanding to um, depart from evil and so uh, we just look at all kinds of stuff on my channel. Anything goes. The good, the bad, the ugly, the nasty. And you have a right to look in the mirror and do something about it for all uprightness sake. And get up and teach from that place even if you fell down. And to be an inspiration in the earth. So whatever it is that you're going through, hopefully you'll find something here within a message for you. So I'm going to take some names here. And uh, whatever Jehovah wants to bring out with these names. These can be, uh, for some people, these people are upright. For some people, they're not upright. For some people, it's just a connection to you for some people it is you uh, so however these names come about in the reading you do with the information as you need to see fit to do with it some some of this energy could be a name from your past and something's coming up in the reading that maybe you've just not ever wanted to look at you just pushed it away and went on about your life but there's some things happening today that actually might be connected to that one thing in the past that you just pushed down and ignored and said I'll just never look at it again and actually something sprung up out of it in your life today and you've been trying to figure out why is this here it might might be because of that very thing the spirit speaks expressibly and so we need to be open expressibly to uh, hear what the spirit has to say so that you can you know transmute things even from deep past uh, you could be looking at something in the future that you can bypass with these names or somebody in your family or whatever this is that's going to come out. You just do with it what you need to. So you hope I just uh, invite your presence here. I just thank you for the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You have a rebuke, bind and block every wicked, foul, dark uh, energy right here, right now. And bring out names that need to be addressed or things about these names, positive, negative, neutral, uh, whatever it is, warnings. Um, victories, things that are beautiful, help me to interpret what I need to um, in the message. Get a couple more to come out here. You just, woo! Okay, that's a lot. My goodness, we're going to take a lot then. <laughs> we have Sydney, Sean, Jan, Joyce, Joe, Jim, getting a lot of J's out here, uh, Lois, uh, Mary, Charlotte, Lewis, Jr., or J.R., if somebody wants to call you just J.R., Pat, Amy, Stacy, Rick, Kate, Kathy, or Kat, Jill, Gay, Shane, there's two, did I just say Jill? Uh, may, there might be more than one Jill connection somewhere. Elaine, um, Gary, Frida, Cecil, Teresa, Savannah, Talisa, Roger. Did I already say? There might be more than one connection in here. And I left some of these in here that way after realizing for some. Because some people do have more than one connection like that. So if I have said it more than once, it's for a reason. Uh, Naomi. Kyle, June, Cindy, we have a Joe out here, but we specifically have a Joey, uh, Michelle, Ben or Benny, Ashley, Dee Dee, Tanner, and Drew. If you have to go back for any of those names, I'm going to stick them right back into this bowl here. Then we will get started and you can do with whatever you need to. If you need to pause the camera before we get started in the reading itself then do so uh if you need to all right i'm gonna start off with the overall energy with the rune 
for this reading. So you hope I just invite your presence here to bring out whatever needs to be brought out. I got two that's coming up. We have the Ewas, and so the letter E could also be prevalent. Any you know person, place, or thing, first, middle, last name. It also looks like a W and an M. I just always bring that out. Okay, if you are new, I will let the spirit speak expressibly in any way, shape, or form. It's come through my spirit. Okay, you might hear definitions of the cards that I'm using that you've never heard of before because I use the Hebraic pictograph language within the scripture itself here. So. Um, just to let you know that this represents the horse. Um, it represents, so you could be dealing with somebody who has horses or you have horses, or you live on a farm, something happened on horse race or some something about horses could be here. Um, it's about friendship and loyalty. It represents trust and devotion, marriage, promotion, and increase is what this represents. We have the, uh, CH, the Q and the X coming out. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this uh, rune because I never bring it out. Um, this is about a secret, though. You could be dealing with your ex uh, or any of those letters as well. I always bring out with the CH, the Q, and the X checks. There could be money situations going on. Okay, if we're looking at the horse as well, the horses in the deck is the um, little kid on the horse would be the sun card. And then we would have the ninth house, uh, which would be Leo with that with the sun card. And that also go to governmental things with the Q because it is the letter Q in the Hebrew. And so um, the um, ninth house would also uh, relate us to a horse, which would be like the Wheel of Fortune. So money and stuff like that. So checks it could be here um, just to bring that in. This is a secret, and some people are also dealing with people that's been in magic. There's also been a mystery here uh, around some situations. It also represents being sensitive. Um, this goes back to um, your intuition, be you know, uh, clairvoyance and things like that. Uh, there could be a duration of time where things have been silent around some situation. This is the 13th rune. It's the 13th higher canon. It would take you to the um, death card. Okay, since we have the Ewas here that also looks like an M, the death card is the Mim. Okay, so there would be an intertwining type of energy that would be here, and there's been a lot of death that's gone on. This is an independence rune, though, as well when it comes out here. So, uh, a lot with those two runes that Yehovah wants to bring out connected with these names that came out as well. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. All right. <clears throat> I had to turn my air conditioner on so I had to pause the camera. So, secrets, maybe even around friendship, loyalty situations, things where people either have been or have not been devoted, things around promotion, okay, marriages and increases really here or there, um, people dealing with people being ridiculous and putting their intentions on people with magic and stupidness like this. So if you are new, I attack that kind of stuff because that's unethical for somebody to think I'm going to light a candle and I'm going to send some type of magic or bind you up something spiritually. You're not God. And um, you don't, you don't, you don't get to do that to anybody. That's craziness. You wouldn't want somebody to alter you. Okay, that's demonic stuff. So some people are dealing with that kind of stuff, though. And there's been mystery around people because of it. And if you're not, you know, using your intuition and being connected with the great one, uh, then that mystery is there. And that's, you know. Jehovah's wanting you to be free and have some independence out here to understand what's going on so you're not open up to that stupidness. Let's see what's going on. Jehovah, show me the situation with all this stuff and how it came about and the suggestion, maybe what even is still hidden and um, give us an outcome. So the situation is the hermit. The hermit is the letter Tet, so the letter T would also be here. This is about analyzing. The situation is to go within and analyze in whatever the situation with all this energy and to heal something. The hermit is a big-time healer. It's about calculating things from within. You could be dealing with the physician. Uh, don't have to be. This could be a calculator type energy, taxes. It just anybody skilled could be here. There's a disguise around somebody, especially since there's like secrets out here. 
are around something. This is Ha Volume Wisdom. And so the Tet, if you are new in the Hebrew, it represents somebody that's got a snake in the basket. It represents something that's gotten real filthy and dirty or somebody that's trying to catch somebody up, store them down in clay or get them caught up in something. Um, but it also represents a judgment. It represents tasting somebody's words, okay, especially now, day and age, where we live. Uh, in, in the time that we live, people talk out both sides of their mouth because that's what the snake does, okay? And so the situation is, is somebody's tasting words, trying to figure out how to put a judgment on something, analyzing things, things that are disguised and secret and things about loyalty situations and money and stuff here. This is the situation is the hermit. Uh, show me how the hermit got here and why it is here with all this energy here, Yohobo. What is this here for? How did it come about to get to this place where either somebody's trying to heal something or somebody's still trying to catch somebody up in something? Um, somebody walked away from so the, so the eight of cups is I abandoned something that could have been successful or somebody did that to you and now there's some type of situation either trying to be healed or I'm going to get back at you and try to catch you up in clay or something like that. Uh, something was emotionally invested in here. The hermit is also business situation is something about business could be here as well. But how this got here is because somebody walked away from something. Somebody invested in something and um you know, if you're going to heal that thing and go get nine cups, and then there would be something beautiful here to put a judgment on something to get a wish fulfillment within some situation. Okay? What is hidden? Show me what's hidden right now in this situation. Um, the four cups. Contemplating. Well, that's here. So what's hidden is somebody stuck in a rut as well. For some of you all, what's hidden is, you know, it's, I mean, obviously this is a contemplation card, but this also, I'm stepping out because I'm in a doll relationship, and you need to know that, and somebody hasn't done it yet, but there's contemplating, the situation is, I'm going in, I'm analyzing some things about something, okay? Uh, then somebody needs to know that, what's hidden is this four cups. It says luxury here, so we do have, you know, money and, and things like that involved in some stuff. Somebody's stuck in a rut within something emotional a lot of times the four cups is i'm sitting at the tree and i'm pouting because three other things down here is taking place and i can't get out of something especially if somebody's now trying to catch somebody up in something because something's got filthy out of an ordeal um because some type of an investment that was here and it just was my god and somebody just left but it would have been successful if somebody wouldn't have stepped out and so if you are viewing something you're just viewing this video to see something you know you really need to tap into the great one to put a great judgment on something because something somebody did leave something that would have been so great and so successful had they not just got up and walked away from something. Some people need to understand things take time. Um, but whatever. Anyway, the, what's hidden is the four cups. Some type of I'm stuck in a rut. I'm, I'm thinking about something even here. Okay, even after something was invested in, some type of somebody walked away or I walked away and now it's filthy, dirty kind of thing. Um, show me your suggestion, Yehula. Show me your suggestion. The five of cups. Oh, there's a lot of cups. Something's very much emotional out here. Okay. The suggestion is to quit, get, get over this disappointment. Okay. And quit sitting here at this watery place and mo moaning and crying or just contemplating all the time. And forgive. This is a forgiveness card. There's, two, there's still two cups left. Okay? Now, not everybody, you know, if, if that's a relationship and you walked away and something happened out of that, you can't go back to that. For some people, they can't. Some people have passed away. Some people are already in another relationship. But to just forgive within the self, and especially if you're, if you're in this place of, the, I, I, I'm in a place where I've got to, I, I'm mad, I can't let something go, I'm going to catch you up in something because you're a snake. The suggestion is for you to stop sitting here moaning and groaning and get up and be an adult and to forgive and to move on so that Jehovah can do something positive for you within something, okay? And get out of this disappointment. There's just a lot of water here. Something needs to be healed and repaired. Okay, within some situation, and there's been a, there's been too much silence here. One of these runes go back to it's just been continually silent because somebody's just sitting there, sitting there, contemplating, contemplating, analyzing, analyzing. I'm crying over spilt milk. Uh, it's huge. 
and I did a reading earlier today, and there was just nothing but freaking water there, man. Craziness. It's heartbreak. So for some people, it's been third party. The suggestion is just to forgive yourself, forgive others. Um, show me extra energy to help with the situation you hold up. Okay, so love covers a multitude of sin and everything else. We have the key of cups, okay? Um, there's still a lot of water. The world card is to end something. This could be older people as well. Since the hermit is here, it could also represent older people. This is about using your wisdom. And again, the hermit also goes to wisdom. Um, the key of cups is loving, caring, kind, and very intelligent as well. So we got a lot of wisdom. I, uh, the now somebody, even if somebody is around you trying to catch you up, we got way too much wisdom out here and integrity to close something out. Even if somebody else don't want to, we know that the great one will put a judgment on the freaking snake and the hermit can catch that thing and say goodbye now, okay, within some matter. If some people won't, they just, they, I can't get out of it. I won't get out of it. I've got to send magic on you because, well, because they're filthy and they're full of doo-doo is what they are. Um, extra energies, even though something has ended, it's also telling you to forgive and end it some way, shape, or form in all wisdom. And uh, th this is the letter Shin. It's a pictograph of a tooth um, that it, it actually looks like a W. And so the W is also here with the E and the M as well. Okay, so it's coming out here. Um, it has a meaning of chewing on things as well like I said because there's wisdom here but it's also an all-consuming fire and fire will bring all those impurities up and all the scum and, and, and it'll purify something if you allow it to okay if you allow it to, to do that within some situation we are seeing something that is over you hope it keeps saying so this is just extra energy out of here okay there is another king so some people are dealing with the other person involved in something or this is upright and this is the lower version of the emperor which would represent protection get up take action in love and in something in all wisdom uh, let's just take some more energy here with the um, Lenormand what other information do you want to bring out here you hold up What's this King of Wands here? Okay, there's a commitment here. The ring is here. And I've seen the clover, and that is money, and that's luck as well. I'm just going to stick that to the side. Let me do this. I'm going to stick this to the side because that's just extra energy. But I do want to take a look specifically at this King of Wands. What's this King of Wands here for you, Hola? Remember, we got friendship out here around some situation for some of you all. Some got dirty within friendship around business deals, things like that for some of you all. And this is bank systems and business. Money is here. Some type of contract is around something than, than, it, than that is here for a lot of people. Government would also be here, which I was bringing out. This is fame and glory. Somebody in the public eye, then, then this person represents somebody like that as well. Pride and conceit and ego with the sun, though, when it does come out in the negative in this card. Somebody's prideful. They won't get over it. And somebody is out here for some people trying to catch somebody up in a net. If there's some type of contract around that to catch somebody up but that person will fall in their own trap it, it, they will okay you'll have especially if you're keeping covenant with you but he will close something out in all integrity uh, otherwise this is some type of insight around this or this person has some type of insight around some situation here this is a force with the sun when it comes out okay there's children okay so love and romance and just if there's a child involvement within some situation then that's what it's showing somebody stepped out here uh and uh, apparently somebody was in a dull relationship they contemplated something something got filthy maybe it was your friend that did that 
Um, for some people, that might be the case since friendship is out here. Somebody's also got a childlike brain about them, okay? Especially if they're in pride and ego, and I'm going to catch you up because I'm I just stuck here in my brain. Because that's what one of the meanings of the um, child card. It's also going to be somebody you went to high school with or, or somebody that you've known since, you know, school or something like that. Uh, the child also has the net, which is the hermit catching somebody up in a net is here. So something about this King of Wands is big energy. Okay, something is, uh, uh, you know, known or right up in your face with this energy here. Okay, the sun alone can also go back to children. Uh, show me this uh, king of cups here, please. The rider and then the snake is here again. Well, so we got snakish stuff here around this king of cups. Um, somebody jealous. This, the snake is, is, is a jealous card and the rider is also, you know. So the snake is in is in hypocrisy okay there's tricks here the writer is i'm inventing something so some type of an invention is here okay uh always got ideas going on with the writer there's news or some type of talking about something would be here um this is also a lover card with the writer um there's always some type of surprises then because that's a surprise card as somebody returning or something, but there's some type of a trick here with the snake. It's a deception. It's a, I'm seducing you type of energy. I'm jealous and I'm going to manipulate something. So this is high volume of manipulation then around this key cups. It's what's showing. Some type, something around occupation is here, feeling weighed down, somebody burdened, okay? Uh, especially if, you know, if you're in some type of a business or some some type of um, um, some type of a training situation with the anchor, or maybe something literally around water is here. But this is a burden on somebody because there's a lie, and there's been some type of an invention around something here. Okay, or these two people are involved with in hurting one person. Since three cups have fallen over, maybe you were integrity and two other people weren't. However, that energy is going for you. But, you know, something ended here and something was contemplated about it and there's a contract around it or a marriage or whatever that is. Long-term commitment here with the ring, an agreement within something. Somebody made an agreement and there was a trick around that decision or whatever that was. Somebody contemplated that thing. Okay. Uh, the clouds are also coming out there's 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 dilemmas out here because somebody's here in their filth trying to catch somebody up i guess for some people since the snake is here a couple times because there's a the money around it somebody's cloudy in their mind then i guess they're cloudy in their mind okay they're just distorted and blurred there's things that are hidden here when the clouds come out that's a confusion card show me the hermit What do you want to say about the hermit? The lady is here. Okay, well, so we got two kings and a lady here. Okay, so, and we got somebody jealous. Okay, well, we got somebody jealous here as well. So if there's some type of competition that's went on around some type of contract or, or a marriage or something like that, and somebody's friend was here or something on a business, all this energy that came out in the beginning, then, then so be it. Somebody's parents are here connected to something. This is also a business card as well. Career, we also have that in the, um, um, the anchor that showed out. So, but you do have some type of big time jealousy going on. Somebody won't let something go and they're just inventing things and, and my God, and they're just a trick and everything else. But the suggestion is to forgive and to get out of your bitterness because it's going to kill you in the end, people. It's going to kill you. Somebody is so overbearing with something with the bear. If we're talking about government, then the bear goes back to Russia as well. Let me take some words here. So I'm going to pull from this homemade deck. You hold that. What else do you want to bring out here about all this energy? You tell it because nobody can tell it like you. And you see everybody's heart involved in the situation. And the person that won't turn around and forgive and they're jealous and overbearing, knock them out. And get them out of the earth. We don't want them here. Just don't want them here. It's disgust to you in your eyes.
a DJ is here, okay? Or, or the letters DJ or JD, okay, whatever. A DJ, though, is, you know, this is fame and glory, somebody in the public eye or somebody's known, um, then whatever that means for you. There's some type of um, cutting or a separation here. Well, we have a marriage or contract or something, something ended here. But somebody contemplated it, people. Somebody contemplated it for whatever reason why they did it because of money situations because of some lover situation whatever that has been uh loyalty situations are out here because i'm jealous because you got a promotion and i didn't with those runes that came out okay now i gotta put a spell on you because i'm a freaking kook and everything else some type of a dividing type of energy is here somebody got cut away or separated within some situation here a group is also here um so re, re, if this is a just because it comes out on the channel all the freaking time we have some type of a spiritual leader out here so if this is an evangelist we have evangelistic energy coming out here uh, you need to repair that thing, man, with a force, okay? Because the snake is a liar, a liar, and somebody needs to get up and evangelize the truth, okay? Or something ended and you were in some type of an evangelism and something happened within some stupidness and some, my God, happened out of something. You still are being told to forgive and to put a judgment on something, okay? There's some type of competition around a lady energy here or a younger person child energy could also because this would go back to a younger person uh, or somebody special could be here somebody's mother is here involved in some ordeal you're still being told to forgive uh, yes there's filthiness here some type of po polluted energy is here there's been immorality that is just off okay well, that's the hermit this is the situation somebody's filthy somebody's dirty somebody's a trick they're a liar they're jealous they're bent a spiritual union is here yes well the ring is here okay somebody's went crazy out of that thing and you hope it's going to protect today and uh, and protect from some type of a bribe. A couple somebody th that's that somebody took a bribe to do something filthy and dirty to pull somebody down in clay. And you hold that, let that person die today. Then let them let they themselves the very thing that they took the bribe. The one who gave the bribe and the one who took the bribe. You hold get them both and meet them the same very same way what the bribe was about because they cursed themselves. Then that's pollution out here. Fil that's filthy spiritual pollution. Then. Some type of a questioning, will you go out with me? But if somebody's jealous over that and somebody took a bribe and no, if there's, if there's, if it's safe for you to love and it's, there was, you know, people that were single because I've been doing readings and somebody's bent over a connection, man, whether it be your ex or whether you, all parties are single, but somebody got a strong compulsory tie to something filthy has come out of the deal. Something filthy is here. And so some type of, will you go out with me type of in energy has just made somebody my god it's childish and just snakeish and everything else um there is a connection out here though for those of you who will take the whatever's went down if you're going to be a person of integrity all right and you're going to say look i was jealous i was a liar okay i did something wrong and you're going to fess up okay and for those people that will do the right thing uh, there's truthful energy out here between two people's connection and both people have been hurt in really bad way in a really bad way and both parties understand this it says and and you'll be saying to be gentle all right okay something something that has been hidden is also going to come to the light about something if it hasn't already okay somebody does have vices and a wicked uh offense out here because it's coming out here really big the filthiness is here the filthiness is here the wicked uh, vices here well somebody's into that magic stuff i think i can control you because i'm god and you're a freak okay you're a freak somebody's gotten up into the court of law and literally lied that's a violation of Jehovah's law okay so somebody is filthy for doing that because there's too much wisdom out here to know better Okay, so some, something has happened in a very legal way then. And this is a judge or a lawyer or whatever that is with the hermit is out here. So somebody's 
done something very unethical. Something around death issues is also, well, it's here. I'm trying to catch you up and I've, I've taken a bribe here. Uh, you know, there, there's somebody that's taken some stupidness to go kill somebody because some freakishness has happened. Somebody older is here or senior citizenship energy is also here. Okay. Um, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Well, something's happened out here. Business, business. I got a business deal. I've made some type of invention here. And there's increase in money and a promotion. And uh, so I'm jealous of you or I envy you because of your connection. And now i got to do whatever I think I want to do for it. And now I'm jealous because, by God, either you walked away from me or I walked away. And now I realize and now you found somebody and I'm jealous of that. Now I'm bent because what I did now, I want you back. And i got a strong compulsory tie. And somebody made a freaking mess here out of some stupidness. And there's evil work out here. There's something very evil out here. So where envy and strife is, there is confusion, this confusion card with the clouds, and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above, and we have wisdom here and wisdom here, if you want to catch that snake and get some independence from this stupidness and allow the fool to fall in his own stupidness that don't want to make things clean, man. Wisdom that is from above is pure. And then it's very peaceable. It's gentle and it's very easy to be entreated. It's full of mercy and good fruits and without any kind of partiality. Well, somebody's partial here. Somebody does anything they want, try to get what they want. And, and may the person never have you or want you or desire you for being that way. Because that ain't the love of the most high. Okay, it's without hypocrisy. The snake rep card represents hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace. 